All right, all right, ready for your sleepover at Chad's? Yeah. Great. Salt, Janet, everybody's already here. Hey, Janet, so excited for girls' night. All right, you boys behave. Will do. All right. Hey, Carol, yeah, let's get the show on the road. Let's go, Katrina. All right, I'm coming. All right, bye, boys. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye. And Chad, the only reason I want to hear from you is if somebody is dying or dead. Okay. All right, have fun, boys. All right, little dudes, what do you guys want to do first? Can we practice our self-defense? Though I think it would be very educational. For sure, I could show you some moves. You guys want to do that too? Okay. We love to watch a good fight. I'm putting five bucks on the Russians. All right, you and me, Misha. Okay, I'm going to put my arm around you like this. Sergey, now! <gasps> oh, what? Riley, get his feet! Okay. <gasps> <sighs> Whoops. Is he waving? Yeah, he's breathing. I got his phone. Chad, somebody better be dead or- Chad is unconscious. It- Wait, what? So you have kids? Da, I have two boys. Misha and Sergei. And you like being a mother? Yeah, it's pretty easy compared to what I used to do. And what was that? Well, my first job was pretty confidential, but I was recruited to- I probably shouldn't talk about it. My second job was when I came to America and became ultimate group fitness instructor. This is absolutely pathetic, ladies, let's go! Come on, quicker, quicker! If you don't start to move quicker, Tracy, your husband will leave you for a 20-year-old woman who has more holes for him than Swiss cheese. Let's go. Dig deeper, let's go. I don't care that you're nine months pregnant, Sharon. If I don't see baby's head coming out, I don't want to hear excuses. I got how you say laid off for whatever reason. So when did you decide to become a mother? After I got laid off, I went to bar, and then a nice Russian gentleman got me a drink. We hit it off, I drank him under the table, it was a good time. Then boom. Misha Sergei, I have a drinking problem, and my husband is nowhere to be found. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it is best life. All right, all right Riley, go play. Okay. <laughs> what an idiot. Riley? Riley? <laughs> TikTok. Riley? No, Car Karen, it's fine, okay? Focus on your own kid, he's eating sand. Riley? <laughs> I am not gonna be on a Dateline episode. <laughs> oh my god, Riley? Hi, Mom. <laughs> you stupid little you scared the shit out of me. I found a dog. What? That's not a dog, that's a dire wolf. Can we keep him? No, it's probably somebody else's dog. But he has no taller, and everyone says he's a stray. <laughs> no. Please? No. Please, look at him! All right, ready for your play date with Misha and Sergey? Okay. All right. Oh, hello, Janet. Riley, come on in. You remember my mother, Ingrid? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Ingrid, how you doing? No English, remember? Oh, right, right. Uh, does she always look that pissed off? What did she say? She says you're beautiful. Yeah, for some reason, I don't believe you. Привет, бабушка. Wait, how the hell do you know Russian? We have been teaching Riley Russian. Da, she absorbs language like tiny little yellow square cartoon man on TV. Yellow square cartoon? You mean Spongebob? Da. Oh, she absorbs like a sponge. I see I see what you did there, yeah. Only in driving still. Da, yetoje. Katrina, ya hachu yeast. What? Yetoje. Yepoidu. Everybody stop speaking Russian! Idiot. So you can speak English? No, that is just Russian for idiot. Oh, you want to go, Babush? Oh my god, I'm gonna be here forever. <sighs> what are you... Oh god. Oh. Her face is funny. Thank you. You look sad. Where is your mom? I don't like your pants. You know what? You have mommy issues. At least my mom didn't abandon me. Your mom probably doesn't even love you. <laughs> no, shut, shut up, shut up. Hey, you make my kid cry? She started it. Oh, you wanna go? You know what? I don't need this. I'm getting out of this line, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice job. Move up. Mama needs a new iPhone. Okay. So you're gonna take me home? Mm-hmm. How do you know my mom? Uh, we're old friends. Okay. Do you have any snacks? No, I don't have any snacks. Well, can we stop and get some nuggies? We are not stopping anywhere, okay? Just shut up. 
Well, then I at least have an iPad to watch Frozen. No. Please? You can't! But every day after school, my mom picks me up. As he gives me my iPad and my headphones. And she tells me to shut up and put my headphones in, so... I shut up! Well, then we at least play I Spy. <sighs> Fine. I Spy something blue. I don't know, the air conditioning? Nope. The sky? The police car way right beside us. The what? <laughs> nice toy, my mom only has one friend. You have fun a chance, kids. Ah, we will be back later. Cool, yeah, just one question. Okay. So what do you little dudes want to do? How about we tell some scary stories? Oh, sick, for sure. Riley, you down? Okay. Cool, we'll set the scene. Okay, I'll go first. So there is this guy, we'll call him Brad. And his mom is being kind of sus, asking him when he's going to move out. Which I think is kind of bogus, because Brad- How old is this Brad? Well, he's 27, but like- That's pretty old. I agree with Riley. You know what? Never mind. You guys suck. I'll go. And I will tell you the tale of Baba Yaga. <gasps> like Baby Yoda? There's nothing like Baby Yoda. Okay. Baba Yaga is a foul witch who lives in the woods in her hut that moves on birds' legs, and she hunts and eats humans. <gasps> and her favorite are children. Oh, thank God. I'm 27. Y'all are witch bait. She also likes 27-year-old freeloaders. What? Oh, okay, kids. Go play. Okay. All day. All day. It was a good idea to come to the park. Honestly, I just like to come here to people watch and judge. Oh, I like to silently judge people too. Silently? Hey, you, Karen. Walking your kid on leash makes you look like psycho. You can't just- Sorry. Hey, sup, little dudes. How you doing? Hi, Uncle Chad. Look, I got new shoes with Elsa on them. Oh, sick. I got some new shoes too. They're called Vessies and they're super comfy. Best shoes ever. That is nothing. Sergey and I have wheels on our shoes. That's pretty tight, but check this out. And my feet are completely dry. What is this witchcraft? No, they're just- Is this dark magic? No, they're just 100% waterproof. Do you have superpowers, White Gausa? No, I just- You know what? Yeah. Yeah, these shoes basically make me a superhero. Your glasses look stupid, Chad. Huh? I like your shoes, though. So, so you said our mother is at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she was in a car accident. Is she all right? I'm sure she'll be fine. She just asked me to take you guys home. So you drive minivan? Yeah, so? But have no kids? <sighs> no. No ring? Can't find husband? You know what? Probably because she's past her prime. Yeah, this is not even worth it. I'm stopping the car, okay? Get out. We know what you're trying to do. What? Our mother has no car and she thinks hospitals are a waste of time. Well, what are you going to do about it? You have a cell phone? No, I am too young for a cell phone. It is pager. Oh, and who are you gonna page? Our mother, about 45 seconds ago. Oh, well, I don't see your mom anywhere. I wouldn't make any sudden movements if I were you. What? Oh, f***. Ulte, bye! If you knew what I was doing, why did you stay in the car? Chase Cup got cancelled and we were bored. Here fun in jail. You know you don't have to uppercut my nose to wake me up? Zoe. What do you want? It feels like it's the middle of the night. It's... It's 3.30. Yeah. Why are you up at the witching hour? You come in here to give me an exorcism? What are you doing up? I did something. What did you do? I made it to the bathroom. Oh, that's really good, honey. That's, that's really good. Did you remember the flush? I made it to the bathroom, but not the toilet. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you five bucks. You're gonna go wake up your father, and we never had this conversation, okay? Okay, where's the money? Okay, calm down, El Capone. Here's your money, okay? Get out of here. Okay, thank you. Please. Oh my god, Riley, we are in a public park, and I am hungover. I don't have time for this. Excuse me, can I just get past? Yeah, back off, but Dr. Phil? Man, I could really use the help right now. She's not listening. Oh, well, I wasn't really on duty, but uh, I can tell you this. You don't want to give in to a tantrum. Don't reward bad behavior, that's for sure. Janet, it is simple. Simply pick her up by ear and throw her in car. What? I, I, I really don't think that's the best advice. Oh, because you know everything, Dr. Phil? All due respect, are those your little thugs over there bullying an adult? What? You need training wheels, you big baby? I remember when I was two. I have a balance deficiency, it's a real thing. Sir, do you need some help? <laughs> 
Wait, Dr. Phil? Are you saying I'm not good mother? Do you want to go, Dr. Phil? Now you've done it. Hey, look, I, I don't want an international incident here. I'm just trying to get by. I, I, I need to go. W whatever. That's what I thought. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mommy Toddler Time Daycare. How's everybody doing? I'll go first. I have some big news. I'm doing very good. Thank you for asking. Misha knitted me new toque. It's ox blood red. My favorite color. Ah, uh, you interrupted me, <laughs> Katrina, uh, like I was saying. Hey, how's everybody doing? Janet, you interrupt. <sighs> Janet, what did I say about drinking in here? I don't know what you're talking about. You Riley, did mommy drink? Yeah, but we were responsible and we took the bus. See, I'm a good mom. It <laughs> Carol, what did you have to say? Thank you. I was saying that I have officially adopted Diamond. Diamond? Why does that ring a bell? Hi there. Holy Mother Mary of God, I thought she was dead. Wait, what? No, Janet, you're lost in sauce. I killed her mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rip the Courtney. Wait, what? Hi, is everybody ready for class? Okay. Da. Da. Okay, well, today we're doing addition, and question one is for Riley. Riley, what is three plus three? Thirty-three. Uh, no, so three. Uh-huh, plus three. Glasses. Uh, no, okay, we'll come back to you, okay? Uh, Misha, question two is six plus six. Twelve. Wait, how did you... Question three, what is twelve plus twelve? A what? It is twenty-four. How do you guys know the questions already? You should really look into getting better firewall. Doc, getting into your computer this morning was piece of pie. What? I, you guys didn't see anything else though, right? No, just lesson plans. Okay. <laughs> and an open web browser to sugarbaby.com. Okay, and we're done. Class dismissed? Let's smooth. Misha, Sergey. What is the meaning of this ridiculous high-pitched scream? I see no blood. Your stupid, reckless little boys just hit my angel hunter in the face with a snowball. <sighs> and your name is... Karen. Ah. Misha, Sergei, you have exactly one opportunity to tell me what happened to Hunter. Simple. Sergei and I had constructed bunkers on either side of the field. And we blew air horn as to one of the children that this was now hotspot and epic snow battle was about to commence. In heat of snowball battle with Sergei and I, Hunter snuck past our barriers and simply got hit by crossfire. Simple explanation. Your child is incompetent. You little monsters. So you're just raising future criminals. I think only crime here is naming your son Hunter. Should be Pylon or Sitting Duck. <sighs> you know what? What are you going to do, Karen? There's no managers out here. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to class. I have your test results. And, and Riley, we're, we're going to start with you, okay? Unfortunately, you failed. What? Oh. oh, how is this possible? Well, for question one, for example, eight plus eight, you put two Olafs. Yeah, because there's two snowmen. It's still wrong. I how dare you? Riley is absolute prodigy. You are just too small-minded to appreciate her genius. No. It is not her fault she has beautiful mind and face that you cannot understand. Okay. What? She is absolutely beautiful inside and out. You will pass her. No, I can't do that. You will, because she is like sister to us. Da, she is, like, very important to me. I can't just pass- I have hacked into your computer and found Tinder. I am messaging you back big D69- Stop! Okay, you passed, Riley. Oh, day, thank you! Thanks for watching the kids in grid. Da, do свидания, mama. Get in the bush now. Привет, бабушка. Hmm. Привет. Okay, Riley, what would you like to do? Uh, <gasps> let's play pretend knights. <gasps> and I should be the princess. You are my princess. What? So, what did you say? Nothing. Um, uh, we could play truth or dare. Okay. Okay, since you're first out of womb, you go first, Misha. Okay. Riley, truth or dare? Truth. Do you have any crush on anybody in this room? Uh, what's that? That is Jezebel, an ancient family heirloom that you cannot touch or else it would possess and hunt anyone near. I'm gonna touch it. No, Riley, don't! Hold my hand! <laughs> Suckers. Riley, can you go grab the shreddy cereal? Okay!
No. Please. No, when you eat sugar, you turn into a cracked out sugar high spawn of Satan. Go get the shreddies. But the shreddies taste like sticks. Then I guess you're gonna eat sticks. <laughs> All right, let's go check out. All right, help me put stuff up. Okay. Wait, what was that? <laughs> uh, Frosted Flakes? Riley? She makes me sticks at home. What? No, I do Just put the Frosted Flakes in, please. Thank you. Due to your online teacher putting in many complaints about you guys, she is now taking leave of absence and I will be her replacement. Any questions? Moody, okay, I have a question. Go ahead, Riley. There is no such thing as stupid question. Are you in love? Stupid question. Misha. I am. You are what? In love. I don't care. We're supposed to be learning spelling right now. Spelling. S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G. Not the word spelling, Sergey. Well, then I will spell this. Riley. Huh? I-L-O-V-E-Y-O-U. Wizard. Incorrect. It spells I love. Enough. Now I know I have a teacher left, but you're with Katrina now. So S-H-U-T-U-P. Unicorn! Dear God. Riley? Yeah? Screen time is over. No, put it back on! No, you're done. But I just want to see the ending. This isn't an M. Night Shyamalan movie. There's no alternate ending or twist, okay? You've seen it a hundred times. Please! Spoiler alert, everybody lives and moral of the story is many shit. Please? Go to your room until supper's ready. I'm just trying to run away. <laughs> I can't take you, Pete. I done bad for you. <laughs> I hate it here. Riley Dan is ready. What is it? Dino Nuggies. Damn it! All right, all right, have fun at Chad's, kids. Da, goodbye, little ones. Okay, bye. Bye, mom. Goodbye. See you guys, y'all. I just had one question. So, where are we going? It is this new bar in town. Great, I could use a drink. This place is nice. Da, they have drinks on special. Great. <laughs> Janet. Is that drink on special? Really? Him? Shut up, let's get a drink. Hey, uh, two vodka crayons. No crayon. Yeah, all right, coming right up. So you're from down under. Yeah, you know what they say about down under? That you are below average? Katrina. Sorry. Did you underperform? <laughs> Where are you from? Mother Russia. Funny accent, I couldn't pick that up. Probably because your IQ is down under. Katrina. Some more. Mom, guess what? You got another bottle of wine? No, I washed the tooth! That's great, honey. You gotta remember to put your tooth under the pillow and then get a dollar from the tooth fairy. Will we? Yeah. But hey! <gasps> he wasn't me, officer. Mom. What? The tooth fairy didn't take my tooth or give me a dollar. The what? Oh. Maybe he forgot. He forgot me? No, no, actually, I remember. He called me last night and, and just said he was really busy. He's too busy for me? No, I, Oh, look, he just texted me and he said, and he said, you can give me your tooth and I'll give you a dollar on his behalf, okay? No, <laughs> okay. Okay. And the wait fee? Wait fee? What are you, the IRS? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Take a five. Get out of here. No, okay, thank you. Scoot over. You drank some of this while I was gone? No. Yeah. Who's that? It's your Nona. She's coming to babysit you. Come in. Oh my god. I said come in. Oh, my hearing's not what it used to be. It's fine. You're wearing pajama pants, Ma. No one? Oh. I knew that. Did you go to the doctors like I told you to? I did. I don't remember what he said, but he's very handsome. You're married, Ma. 
I know, but now that your husband's out of the picture, I was just thinking that you and Dr. Stoli could get the- Ma, stop! Ay, 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 ay. Hello, my little ravioli, what's new? I drank some of mom's spicy juice. Spicy? You drank the last of my wine? That'll put hair in your chest. Ma! Oh, that's fine. We used to put whiskey in your mouth when you were teething to help you stop crying. That explains so much. Huh, <laughs> so this is the new world park? Duh, I read online that it is magical. <laughs> Whatever that means. Alright, kids, go play. Okay. All day. All day. <laughs> Hi, I'm Viola. Hi, Viola. You know this park gives you magic powers. Really? Yeah, anyone here can see men's thoughts. No way. Yes way, look. I am definitely mother's favorite. I must tell Riley how I truly feel. What? I feel like Katrina Loki wants me. I promise you, I don't. Oh yeah, she wants me. No, she doesn't. Oh, what are you guys in love or something? <laughs> Janet? Well, yeah, of course we do. We're best friends. Da. Excuse me, mother. Misha, you're supposed to be tutoring chess. What are you doing? He can wait. Oh. Misha? What is it? I think I am in love. Really? Da. All right. So tell me, would you fight Baron Woods for her? Da. Take bullet for her? Da. Would you snap your fingers with infinity stones knowing full well you'll die? Oh, da. Would you let Darth Vader strike you down so she could escape the Death Star? Uh, yeah, probably. Would you let her float on Dora in the middle of the ocean where she holds your hand while you're freezing to death in the ocean? Knowing full well there is room on the door. There is room. How about these old movie references? Answer the question. Ah! You are in love. Okay. And are you okay there, mother? No, I've just been watching a lot of upsetting American cinema lately. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Mommy Toddler Outdoor Yoga. I can't believe you convinced me to come to this. Oh, it's great. Amy's made me bend in ways I never thought was possible. Is this for real? Janet, have you been living under a giant pile of gold poop? This class is best. I think you mean, have you been living under a rock? No, tomato potato. No. <laughs> Could you three quiet down? Some of us are actually trying to listen to the instructor. Yeah, I can really see your son listening over there, Karen. He's eating grass. What? No. Hunter, no! Your kids are the one feeding it to him. Sergey, write this down. Subject will eat anything we hand to him. Duh. Ten bucks says he'll eat some dirt, too. Oh, I'll take that bet all day. Boys are weird. Aren't you gonna tell him to stop? Why don't you ask the manager to, Karen? <laughs> nice. I knew I liked you. Excuse me, instructor? Uh, these ladies? Nobody cares, Karen. Shut up and stretch. I've been tasked yet again to teach your class since your teacher is on leave, and today is English. Riley. I already know that. Ah, do you know what the verb is? Like Phineas and Ferb. No. Alright, let's start with adjectives. Psst, pass this to Riley. All day. Alright, so. So, Russians are. Give me an adjective. I can't get them. I can't. Okay, I'll start. Right here. Okay. Example, the Russians are bestest. Here. Misha, here. <gasps> Piss one more note in my class and I will beat you. And beat is what, Riley? A Phineas and Ferb. Da. Alright guys, so just so you know, for today's episode, I'm having my sister come over to babysit Riley, okay? Your sister? What does she look like? I don't even know her. She just looks like me, like a- Oh, I've actually met her before. She's like a slightly older, way better looking version of Chris. She she's like- she's like a fine wine, and Chris is like a cheap tequila shot. Okay, I don't know about that, but- uh, I have seen pictures. What Nona says is very accurate. Thank you, Katrina. Does she look like Elsa? Totally. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I, I cosplayed Elsa, you know, like... Yeah, I talked to her too, and she said she's becoming a teacher, which I think is so cool. Like, she's actually, like, like a good person, you know? Y are you saying I'm not? She sounds a hell of a lot better than you. <laughs> well, would she come babysit us as well? Uh, okay, she's here. Everybody just shut up. Hey, come on in. Hey, everybody. See what I mean? That 100%. Thanks, guys. Sup, Katrina? Boys? 
kill each other. I need you to babysit boys. No, no, you know what? I'm putting my foot down. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it anymore. Let me ask you this. Do you know how to sleep with one eye open? Why would I need to know how to sleep with one eye open? Use your imagination. Oh, okay boys, come on in! Kill! Kill! So when will you be back? Cool. Chad, we have some very important things to talk about. Listen, I was already getting threatened by your mom today. I don't need this from you two. No, you are mistaken. I have confessed my love to Riley. Da, and he would like your assistance in constructing the best date ever, since you claim to be such a ladies' man. Oh yeah, uh, ladies' man, yeah. Yeah, I'm honored. <laughs> You've been on lots of dates, right? <laughs> yeah, like... One or two? What was that? Like one and a half, okay? It was set up by my mom. I'm a fraud. My whole life is alive, I think alive, maybe man. we should help him first. Like, Why class that much, man? Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who's everybody's unofficial favorite. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who's never kissed a woman before. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who could take a bear in a fight but can't talk about her feelings. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody that acts all innocent but has many dark, unfathomable secrets. Thank you. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody who's 100% an alcoholic and absolutely needs an intervention. I already did. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody we're all terrified of. I start you. I got it, Mama. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody that probably should be in a mental institution. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody who has absolutely no filter. I got a colonoscopy today. What? I oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody who carries this entire operation. I'm gonna pass the phone to somebody I think has a crush on me. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody that has a crush on Riley. I'm going to pass the phone to somebody who has no friends, so she needs to create them. Oh, fun! What are we doing? Guys? Thanks, Thanks for watching Riley, Ma. Yeah, no problem, but you better pay me good because 5 o'clock on Wednesdays is usually when me and your father spice it up in the bedroom. I don't need to hear that, Ma. I'm joking. Thank God. About paying me, you don't need to pay me. Okay, I'm out of here. You going out dressed like that? Yes, is that a problem? No, just don't be surprised if somebody tries to give you money while you're walking on the street. Okay, goodbye, Ma. Hello, my little ravioli, how you doing? I think I'm stuck in a love triangle. Oh, you're just like Yanona. I had all the guys fighting after me, what's the problem? I like a boy, but his brother wakes me. Oh my God, it's like a telenovela, tell me more. I don't know what to do. Listen, my little Noki, you don't need a man, but if you want a man, you need to make the first move, because they're all idiots. Okay. Okay, repeat back what I just said. Make the first move. Mm-hmm, and? Because all men are idiots. And that's today's known as life lesson. Come on, what the f***? What are you doing here so early? It's 2 p.m. Oh, really? Still, what are you doing here with the spawn of Satan? Hi there. Oh, I thought it'd be fun if Riley and Diamond had a play date. <laughs> You know what else is fun, Carol? Cliff diving off Mount Everest. There's no water on Mount Everest. That's the point. Whatever. Come in, Diamond. Okay, have fun. Riley's in a bedroom. I'm going back to bed. Don't bug me. Fine, whatever. I'm here. Oh, hi, Diamond. So, what do you do for fun? I'm building the Death Star with Wagos right now. Wame. Wash Frozen. Super Wame. I like a boy. <gasps> you need to make over. I don't feel like I need- Shut up. Give me your hands. Okay. Okay, all done. You guys want some virgin mimosa? Oh my god. Hi, mom. You don't think people talk about us enough already? You gotta make my daughter look like a cheap hooker? Yeah, whatever, whatever. The mimosas are in the kitchen. Yeah, no, no, no. You could've left the boys with Nona and Riley. I don't think they could use some American culture. At a bar? Well, how you even gonna get them in? Oh, my cousin Boris is the bouncer. Really? Da, Boris, let us in. Katrina, I cannot let boys in. Boris, need I remind you of family saying? <sighs> family first, don't ask questions later. Great, now move. It's a slightly concerning family saying. Alright, boys, wait at bar. We're going to go hustle some drinks. All day. All day. Oh, I might, but no any alcoholic drinks can I start for you. I'll have a white Russian. Just hold the vodka and liqueur and eat chocolate syrup. Right, so chocolate milk? Da, make it a double. Just extra chocolate syrup. He's having girl problems. Oh, well, you came to the right place to get advice. What are your credentials? Watch this. Oi. Huh? <laughs> See? Keep talking. So you can help me with my girl problems? That's right. So what is your secret? First, have a sexy accent. I have more sexy accent. Next. Can you say so? Next is the insult compliment technique. What? Watch. Oi. Hmm? 
What are you, late 30s, early 40s? Listen here, buddy. I like an older woman. <laughs> I could be 40. See, now you try. Hello, miss. You look sad and lonely. Uh, but you look like you can afford a therapy, so... What? Sorry about that. Um, tell me something your girl likes. Okay, well, she likes, um... She likes Frozen. Da, and, um, Nuggies. Nuggies? I know Nuggies, to be exact. This is for me, Sergei. Maybe you should pay a little bit more attention to her. Maybe you should mind your own business. Maybe you should- Oi, oi, enough! Where your mums? <laughs> hey boys, look, Janet is wearing my hat. I look, I'm a Russian spy. <laughs> Where did you hear this information? I didn't, I was just- Okay. So to celebrate episode 100, I thought we could interview a few characters for the series. Thank you for your assistance. You got it. Bring him in. Hello, I'm Natalie. Hi, Natalie, and what's your thing? Yes, of course, I'm- Are you a Disney princess? No, I'm a nanny. Can you be a Disney princess? Um... Oh my god, I'm scared to ask. What's your name? Bethany. Oh well, I'm kind of surprised, to be honest. But you can call me Bex. It's two X's. There it is. My Wiker! <clears throat> and you are... Scout Leader Boone. And I'm here to whip these kids into shape. And who's that? I'm Assistant Scout Leader Walter. Ah, assistant to the scout leader. Wow. I see potential. Okay, wow, that was... Hi. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were done. Um, and you are? Marie, Janet's sister. I smell the drama already. Totally. Have, have fun at day camp, kids. Da, and remember, wolves smell fear. Take care now. All right, you little maggots. I'm scout leader Boone. This here's my assistant to the scout leader, Walter. I will only answer the Sir Walter or Superior Leader. Alright, now which one of you thinks baby cub bears are cute? So you see a cute little cub, you might go up to it, maybe even pet it, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Now you're dead. Mama bear at you for lunch like a cheap 7-Eleven three-day-old taquito. Not if I was there. What did you say, make it? <laughs> then what would you do if you ran into an aggressive female adult grizzly? I would not run, I would avoid direct eye contact, I would wave my hands in the air to make me appear larger than I actually am. If it was approaching at 25 feet away, I would probably get my better- Hold up! I'm impressed, boy. Walter, give him a beware bear badge. <sighs> Lucky guess. <laughs> hey, Ma, we're here. Hi, Anona. Hello, my little ravioli, and you look terrible. Nice to see you too, Ma. You know, I was just watching the television and they're saying that closing your eyes, breathing a lot, and pretending you don't have any problems is really good for your mind and your physical appearance. Closing your eyes and pretend- You mean meditation? I don't know what the kids are calling it, but you need to start doing it. Thanks, Ma. I'm here. Oh, Marie, you look beautiful. Really? What have you been up to, my little tortellini? Oh, you know, just working. I actually have a new gallery show with all my paintings coming up. You guys should come. Can I paint something for the show? Sure. Mode! You were just amazing. Sometimes I can't believe you came out of me. We both came out of you, Ma. Two minutes apart. Oh, don't be salty. I'm the better twin, Janet. It's not your fault. The first pancake always comes out a little burnt and lumpy. <laughs> Ma! What is true? She's talking about the order of us being born. Oh. Well. Ma! Thank you, thank you for watching, boys, Janet. Anytime. Have fun at your, uh, family meeting. I don't even want to know what goes on there. Okay, I'm going to go set up the perfect date in Riley's room. You need to distract her. On it. What's up? Where's Misha? He is constipated. Are they? What would you like to do? Let's play Legos in my room. No! Because I hate Legos. Are they? Why are you so weird? Oh. Is it does you like me? No. Does I like Misha? Okay. We're good. Come on. I changed my mind about the Legos. Let's go play. Okay. <gasps> Welcome to your frozen kingdom, Princess Riley. I have frozen one and two ready to play and fresh done no nuggies. Did my mom do this? No. Then she never does stuff like this. That was your mom. <gasps> I'm glad you're not constipated anymore. What? Play it again. Riley, if I play that frozen soundtrack one more time, I'm going to lose my mind. Please? No. Please? No, you know what? You're actually gonna listen to music that I like. No! It's music that I like, but it's the kids' version, so you're gonna like it too. I'm listening. It's the Kids Pop All-Time Greatest Hits album. It's their 20th birthday. Give them a chance. 
<sighs> okay. Okay. It's a lot better than Frozen, right? Frozen is a masterpiece, but this is a bop. I'll take what I can get. I sit over here. Okay. Way to go, Butterfingers. Don't you dare speak to Riley that way. Sorry. How are we gonna get it back? I don't wanna get my feet wet. I shall sacrifice my own feet for you, my angelic princess. Wait, what is that music? Yeah, uh, thanks to my vessies, I can get that no problem for you. Your feet! Ain't no thing, chicken wang. These are 100% waterproof. Wow! I could have done that. Yeah, boy? You can cry in my shoes, I won't feel your tears. We do, do, do have some new ones, so run it! First off, we have Janet and her daughter Riley, and Janet's twin sister Marie and their mother Nona. Are we doing this again? Then we have Riley's uncle Chad. Janet's Russian best friend Katrina, spicy juice, and her sons Misha and Sergey, and her mother Ingrid slash Babushka, who only speaks Russian. She has cousins Boris and Svetlana, and Svetlana is married to James. She's with me because I'm rich. Yeah. And then we have Janet's friend Carol and her sons Buddy in Texas, and her adopted daughter Diamond. We have Ozzy bartender, who is yet to be named, and the kid's teacher slash daycare lady, Amy. Hi, everybody. Then we have Chris's nosy neighbor, Deborah, and her husband, Tom. And I had to add a Karen. Can I speak to your manager? And her son, Hunter. Uh. The new English nanny, Natalie. And the 20-something grunge chick, Bex. And then we have the southern scout leader, Boone. Right. And assistant to the scout leader, Walter. Lastly, my mom, my dog, and finally, 12-year-old Twilight version of me. All right, Riley. What is it you like to do? I like to watch Frozen. Besides watching Frozen. Eat Dino I think Dino Nuggies is not hobby. I got nothing. Well, we're going to have to change that. Do you like sports? No. What? You don't like running? No. Martial arts? No. Archery? Crossbow? No. Skiing? Skydiving? No. Chess? Nope. What else do kids do? Drinking? I'm four. Well... I like tea. Tea? Like drink? Tea like. Are you in love with my mom? T what does that have to do with anything? You just spilled it. Spilled what? The tea. What tea? Alright, I'm afraid to ask, but what do you guys like to do? We like chess. Ah, and sports? Oh, okay, that's actually a lot more tame than I thought. Uh, what kind of sports do you like to do? Self-defense? Archery? There it is. Okay, um, yeah, any any other any other activities like arts and crafts or anything? Da, we do arts and crafts with mother all the time. You're telling me Katrina does arts and crafts? There's gotta be a catch. Da, the art of shank making. There it is, okay. How is that even a thing? You can make shanks out of anything, basically. Why is she teaching you how to make shanks? She wants us to be prepared for any situation. Da, like you could make a shank out of a hairbrush, toothbrush, mop, a broom. Da, dustpan, bucket, lint roller. Oh yeah, great, okay, okay. I'll take that into account next time I'm getting mugged in a utility closet. Well, don't come crying to us when it happens. So a broom you say, all right. Who is that? That is a new babysitting prospect. I don't want a new babysitter. Well, apparently Chad can't work seven nights a week for free, so no babysitter. Hello, Bex. You look terrifying. It's perfect, come in. Great. So, the rules to babysitting boys is pretty simple. If you hear silence, something is about to transpire, and nine times out of ten, it is a fire. That's like a super f***ed up Dr. Seuss poem. Hmm, I didn't realize I was a poet. <laughs> boys, come meet the backs. Okay. Okay.
Sergey? I think I'm having a heart attack. Symptoms, quick. I just sweat the palms nausea. Do you smell burnt toast? Hey. Nah. Slurred speech. Wait, MD says you're having a stroke or you're in love. You good? Bah. What does love feel like, Misha? Oh, like you are getting biggest, warmest hug you have ever received. And you want to throw up and pass out at the same time. I feel it. Oh, Bex, also, I have Chad coming over to show you the ropes for babysitting boys for the first time. Great. Oh, that is him now. Hello, Chad. Sup, Katrina, you miss me? About as much as fish misses dry land. Oh, I'll miss you too. Hey, boys. Hey. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, oh, and who is this uh, angelic creature? I'm the girl that'll rip those stupid sun visors off your face and shove them where the sun don't shine if you call me that again. Uh, I know I liked you. Alright, alright, guys, ready to go. Good to go. Good to go. Somebody wanna tell me why I'm up so early? It is Chris's one year anniversary on TikTok. She's posted 365 days in a row, okay? No days off, okay? She deserves this. We'd be nothing without her. Okay, okay, calm down. What do you guys think? You're the Avengers? All right, we're not saving humanity. Let's just go. Shh, okay, ready? Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! Oh my god, thanks guys. Oh, how did you get Janet up? <laughs> Very funny. Happy one year, Chris. Oh, you got me a pickle? That's all you had in the fridge. Fair. And I ate all the dino nuggies, so I bought you some wine. Oh, thanks. I'll take that. <laughs> Here, have some of this. Vodka coffee? Yet. Oh, really? It's straight vodka. Yeah. Grace. What's up, Riley? We love you, O'Day. Love you, too. And you, too, O'Day. All right, all right, maggots. Today's all about kayaking. Who here has kayaked before? I know you have, Walter. Sorry, just making sure my inferiors know I'm a pro. <laughs> More like prude. What did you say, maggot? Oh, nothing. Pipsqueak? He said more like prude. The hell, old dude? Alright, looks like we got ourselves our first volunteer kayaker. Oh, it's cool. I actually have an innate fear of water activities. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Yeah. You think I give a you walking token sun visor? Yeah, you think he gives this Permission to say the F word? Permission to not. Oh, get in, boy. Okay. Five bucks says he falls in. We'll take that. Five bucks says he cries. Can I get a paddle, please? Oh! I just saw something move! Dee Marie! What's up, sugar? Can I get my makeup done like you? Riley, you don't need any makeup, honey. You're beautiful. Please? Your mom's right, but she could definitely use some. <laughs> How long did you say you're gonna stay here again? Who's that? Hopefully some new skincare for those wrinkles. Hey, thanks for co- Why do you have a duffel bag? You texted me 911. I came prepared. Yeah, because I needed some more support because my sister's here. I don't need a sleeping with the fishes. All right. Just keeping options open. Just come in. Marie, Katrina, Katrina, Marie. Привет. Oh, wow. You got to buy friends from RussianCompanions.com? No. You can't even keep a husband, let alone the friend. She's actually my girlfriend. Y what? Just go with it. Y yeah. Wow. Good for you. Surprised you can land anything with, you know, letting go of yourself and all. I'm going to get to my duffel bag. No. Ooh, does she fight your battles for you too? You know what, Marie? It's okay, Janet, I got this. Y you kind of just proven a point. Listen here, you bubble-headed, washed-up, dollar store version of Marilyn Monroe. Nice. <sighs> Janet is most beautiful, smartest, bad woman I know. She is someone I look up to and love dearly. Oh, she may have drinking problem and she's not winning any awards for the mother of the year. Uh, okay, I think we're backtracking a little bit here. But I can say with all my heart, I would take bear for her. I think you mean bullet. Would you rather take bullet or take on 1,500-pound bear? Okay, I have something to say. Sorry, they're acting a little crazy. What is it, sugar? When mom is drinking her spicy juice, she calls you a giant Okay, I think it's time for you to go. Whatever. Hmm. And the word you are looking for is No.
Thanks, thanks for watching the kids, Ma. Da, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Oh, and I saw on the television today that there's a man with a mustache running around flashing people, so keep an eye out. Really? Here? Well, not in this city, but you never know. Okay, goodbye, Ma. Don't trust anyone with a mustache. <laughs> Hello, my little tortellinis. How are you? I have to go to the bathroom. All right, go ahead. <laughs> not right here. Go to the bathroom. Okay. Hey. So what's with you two? I am in love with your beautiful intellectual granddaughter. Oh, wow. Well. well, I don't know about intellectual because she just tried to f*** her pants right here, but that's adorable. What about you? I am in love with an older woman. Oh, I've been there. Back in high school, my first love was a senior and I was a junior, but I was too chicken to say anything, so take Nona's advice and go for it. Okay, I will. Good. You got a picture of her? Ba. Let's see ya, huh? Oh, dear God, I retract my statement. So why don't you like your twin sister? I guess it all started back when we were little. I swear it was her sole purpose to make me look bad. Hey, I got this for you, Marie. Ow, Mom! What? You guys are interrupting my dateline. What? <laughs> Janet just hit me. No? Oh my god, this is just like a dateline episode I was just watching. You are not growing up to be a serial killer. You are grounded until I say you're not. What? <laughs> Definitely got worse in high school. She was popular, and I, w I was pretty popular. Smile, big girl. Little big girl. Oh, look at those train tracks! More like cheese grater. <laughs> Brace face, zipper lips. My ma even got into it. Going out, ma. Don't wait up. Me too. Bye, Marie. Not you, Tin Grin. What? You're still grounded. Now put on. We're gonna be late for church. <sighs> that answer your question. Hey, yo. Oh, uh, sup, Riley. How are you? I'm okay. Cool. Your mom there? No. Oh, is Bex babysitting you? Maybe I should stop over and say hey. Nope. Bex is babysitting or I can't come over? Both. Then who's babysitting you? No one. What? Oh, my car's in the shop. I gotta call the cops. Stay on the line. Okay. Are those gunshots? Sit, skull a boom. I'm also chief deputy. We have reports of child abandonment. What? I was taking a nap and my kid was watching Frozen on an iPad. My iPad died and I got bored. You said this. I am so sorry. Thanks for watching the kids on such short notice specs. No, we appreciate it. No problem. My band's gig got canceled, so. Oh, you in a band? What's it called? We're kind of between names right now. Souls Eclipsed, Hormonal Rage, and you're not my dad. A lot of options there. I'm not gonna unpack. I like them all. Okay, we're out of here. What do you little monsters want to do? Whatever you want to do, my lovely babysitter. Boys, boy, hide and seek. Superb idea, Riley. Superb. It's great. What's great? Superb. What's superb? I'm counting to ten. One, two, three, four. Riley, come hide in here with me. Six, oh, seven, ten. You're really bad at this game. Brats, would you like these flowers? I hate flowers. Damn it. This is a really good hiding spot. Only the best for my princess. Oh my god, where are they? I will help you find them, my little chocolate salami. Did you just call me a chocolate salami? That is delicacy in Russia. Soviets had to be resourceful during food shortages, so I believe it signifies your strength and beauty. Chocolate salami. Duh. Have you checked that closet? No. Our position has been compromised. So we're done a woos. Not if I can help it. What do you mean? Sacrifice. Found you, Misha. Bex. Nice work. Tootsie roll. Oh, is that the American delicacy? No, it's a weird candy nobody likes. But being weird's better anyway. <laughs> what the? F Mom, there's someone at the door. Oh, really? You think? Yeah. 
The fact that you are my child and you still don't get sarcasm is very concerning to me. What? What? Karen? Yeah. Yeah, you got the wrong house. No. Yeah, no, actually, the uptight, miserable, middle-aged spawn of Satan meeting is down the street. You're gonna take a left. You're gonna see a cliff. You're gonna jump off. I'm here because my son Hunter... <gasps> ...wants a play date with... Riley? Yeah. You know it's not too late to change your name. Oh, so I should have named my kid after the exact opposite of what he is? Your kid's name should be Deer in Headlights or Stunned Possum. You know what? We're done. Hunt Hunter? What? Riley. Isn't he pretty? Huh? Hunter, you have makeup on your face. Oh, really, you think? Sarcasm. <sighs> this is gonna be bad. Our mothers have to meet at some point. What's going on? I believe both our grandmothers are about to meet. Oh, nice. No, Babushka likes no one who is not blood. And mine known as bad <laughs> crazy, so this should be good. I'll make the popcorn. Okay, my ma's here. Could she at least smile? She has not cracked a smile in 70 years. Hey, Ma. Hello, my little linguini. So where is this old Be nice. 20 bucks says they brawl. Now, nah, take that bet. Nona, babushka, babushka, Nona. Your face always look like you just smelled somebody else's foot. Ma! Nobody told me I was beating the knockoff Russian version of Mrs. Delphia today. I bet I could drink your old ass under the table too, that's why I brought you some primo vodka. It is medical. What the? Somebody better be dying. I might as well be. Ma? Why are you calling me this early on a Sunday? I don't know, why am I calling? I don't know. Well, I shouldn't have to be calling you today, but here we are. Can you stop talking in backwards riddles and just tell me why you called? I don't know, maybe because it's the day you're supposed to be celebrating the fact that I had to put up with you for so many years? What? I can't believe I had to call you to tell me Happy Mother's Day. It's 6 a.m., Ma, and I'm a Ma, too. Happy Mother's Day. That's all I ask. Hello? Uh. Happy Mother's Day! Oh, hey, what's all this? I used up my allowance to get you a gift. Oh, okay. Let's see what's in here. It's empty. I only had enough for the box. Oh, well, it's a lovely box. And I filled it with love. Oh, kind of wish it was mine. Hello, my little tortellini. Ravioli, come on in. Hey, Ma. Hey, Onona. Hey, Dad. Dad. His hearing's getting a lot worse, and he refuses to go to the doctor because he thinks they're going to chip him. Chip? What? And the neighbors have called the cops several times because he maxes out the volume on the television and he refuses to watch anything other than war movies and criminal minds. Oh, jeez. What is he doing? Making sure none of the neighbor kids step on his lawn. He's got nothing better to do? After his dog Coco died, the lawn is all he has. Go on and get Trash bastard. Dad. Pop, pop! They've infiltrated! No, pop, pop, it's me! Oh, how you doing, little butter tart? My mate. You snuck up on me pretty good. We could have used you and Nam. Nam? Mm, back in my day. No. I don't know why we don't hang out one on one more. This is nice. Bah, you want the swig? It's not juice, is it? It's spicy juice. Yeah, your breath smells flammable. At least the boys are having fun. So, you boys want to play a game called roulette? Oh, I'm down for anything. But you haven't even heard of terms. Oh, our pal says to try everything at least once. Unless it's tax fraud. Mm-hmm. Only tax fraud? Yeah, because that's what he's in jail for. All right, so game is simple. We will stand in circle. I will throw ball straight up in the air. Last one to move wins. All right. All right. All right, and go. Oh, look, they're playing catch. That's nice. Looks like roulette. Sorry, what? Oh, my God. Buddy, are you okay? Did I win? Duh, you have a respect. And probably a mild concussion. Nothing a little spicy juice can't fix. This is why we don't hang out. You, you cannot tell anybody this took place. Oh, f stay here. Hey, Ma, what are you doing here? Hey, I came down here to tell you that I quit drinking. You came all the way here to tell me that? Well, excuse me, I thought that was a big deal. Since it's the fourth time this month you've said that, a call would have sufficed. 
Well, you know what they say, four times a charm. Now, where's my little ravioli? No, Riley's not here. Is there something wrong? Nope. I've watched enough Dateline episodes to know what's going on. Say what if you're in danger? What? Oh my god. No, ma. Hello, ladies here to drop off Riley. Hi, yo. Hey, thanks, Katrina. I think she's being held hostage. What? No. Blink twice if you're in danger. What? That's fun. I can't not blink. That's too. I'm coming in. No. What are you doing here? I told you to stay in the room. Did you have a sweepover without me? Oh my god, I need a martini. Seriously, Janet? It's not what it looks like. Well, it looks like you two were doing the devil's tango. Ma! Butter in the biscuit. No. Exploring your chamber of secrets. Oh my god. Playing hide the cannoli. Stop! Ladies? The Aussie bartender? Really? You know what? Well, Australian and a bartender. He's a triple threat. You slept with him? No, it's not like that. I was unconscious. I'm going to kill him. No, not like that. I was wasted and he drove me home. She was throwing up everywhere. Took her home, took care of her. We fell asleep. Exactly. Hmm. Are you my new dad? Ah, uh, no, you're just friends, but I can make you some brekkie. But hey. Mimosa? That's the only word that came out of your mouth that I understood. Make it a double. In screwdriver. Drive a screw right through your skull. Katrina! Hold the orange juice. Thank you for coming in, Janet. Yeah, love getting called in by Riley's teacher at the end of a Friday. Alright, so Riley has been using some inappropriate language. Oh, like what? Pee pee and poo poo? More like and And have you heard her say this? Well, no, but some of the other kids have said- Oh, which one? I bet it's Karen's kid. He eats sand as a pastime. No, what I was about to say is the other kids said that Riley said that it's okay to swear if you get hurt. Yeah, and? So you told her that? Oh, what do you say when you stub your toe, the Lord's Prayer? I'm sensing some hostility. Yeah, no Peter Parker, your spidey senses are working. Okay. Do you even have any proof besides some toddler's confessions? I have a picture Riley drew yesterday. Hmm. I see leadership. I see dictatorship. So she swore a little. What's the issue? We have all our toddlers on the playground slapping themselves in the face in order to use vulgar language. Okay, I'll talk to her. Fantastic. I'll call Riley in. Okay. Riley, come on in. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hey, Angel. You usually call me Spawn of Satan. Say, okay, Miss Amy tells me you're telling kids if they get hurt, it's okay to swear. Yeah, does you told me it was okay. <coughs> no, that's that's only if mommy accidentally gets hurt, okay? Not you or other kids. Okay, so no more or Oh. Yeah, no more. What about mother Oh dear god. None of them. You can't say any of them. Okay. 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 And maybe it's a good idea for you to stop swearing in the household as well. Yeah. Great. Gonna tell me to stop drinking too? Yeah, does she loves her wine? No. I don't recommend. No, Miss Amy, do you have kids? No. Alright, then kindly shut the up, okay? I'm out of here. Oh. Who knocks on people's doors unannounced? Like, text me. Karen? Yeah. Halloween's not for another five months. Halloween? Yeah, why else would you be dressed up like an uptight, hoity toity, arrogant snake? Very funny. Wait till I tell an actual joke. Oh, wait, that's you. Can you drop it? Listen, I don't know how long you can stay in this human vessel before you bust into your natural demon form, so let's hurry this up. Thanks to your daughter putting makeup on Hunter a couple weeks ago? Huh? He wants to wear it all the time. And? It's completely inappropriate. Oh, you know what? My daughter plays with Legos. I guess we should just lock them both up. Sarcasm. Oh, you cracked the case, Sherlock. <laughs> We're out of here, Hunter. Hunter? He wanted purple this time! Uh. Oh my god. Oh, I get it. You're just jealous because he's prettier than you. Oh, there she is. Hey! What's with the plant? You said you wanted to talk about something important, so I brought you succulent. Thanks. Come in. Alright? I have been waiting for this. So? I want to start dating. Okay, done. Yeah, I figured you could be my wingman. I just want to go out there and meet people. Oh. Hey, Katrina. Oh, your parents are here? Oh, yeah, they're looking after Riley while we go out. Hit the town. Oh. 
Oh, I wish I was single again. What? I said I wish I was single again. Two sugars, three creams, thanks. No, this is what you have to look forward to. Oh my god. So what kind of person you looking for? I don't know. Good looking. Nice. Non-judgmental, likes wine. I prefer vodka, but... Are you gonna date Jesus? No. Then you should lower your expectations. Thanks.